In this daily drop, we're going to take a look at a quick previs I did for an upcoming shoot next week in Seattle. So let's go. Okay, here we are. It is the last episode of the week, episode 40. And we're going to shift gears again, as I do on the daily drop, and talk a little bit about this project I have coming up in Seattle. So I'm heading up on Monday morning to go to a sound stage. And this project and its parameters have changed a lot over the last week or two. And what's been settled on for the client is a green screen shoot, which has two talent uh, that are going to be on set. And we're also going to have somebody who's at times for part of the content uh, between them, but coming in on a live feed and they're going to be all having a conversation with each other. So let's just head over to Set a Light, which is an application that I have used now uh, for, well, I've used it for a long time. And I use it for both educational purposes and also for things like this, which is to pre-visualize. One of the things that we have a challenge with when you're doing a green screen shoot, especially if you're replacing it with a virtual set, is making sure that you're thinking about where your camera positions are going to be, the focal lengths that you're going to be shooting with to get the frames that you're looking for, the compositions that you're looking for. And the first place that I started in Set of Light, which is really a great little application for things like this and to learn lighting and stuff, is to put in the dimensions of the actual stage that we're going to be shooting on. So you'll see that the width of the stage is 45 feet wide and the depth is 30 feet. And then it's really about centering and figuring out where everything's going to be. So we know we're going to have a big screen on the virtual set. There's going to be a real screen in between the talent there. So I've set that at least for this purpose, about six feet away from the psych the cyclorama wall, uh, positioning talent about four feet further into the space from there. So they're at about a 10 foot mark and then three cameras, A in the middle and then B and C on either side. And those cameras are about 18 feet away from the psych wall. So if talent's 10 feet away, they're about eight feet away from talent and a camera set to a, at least for now, a 20 millimeter focal length. And you can see what that look is right now on the right hand side. And then if I click on our B and also on our C cameras, those are set to a 35 millimeter focal length right now. And this will change on the day of or on Monday when I go in to just sort of fix some things and really figure out what the lighting is going to be because this is not the final lighting. My guess is we're probably going to move B and C slightly, maybe a little bit closer to A, and we might go a little bit longer on the lens. But my client and I have talked about it. A camera is going to be an R5C, which is actually a full frame camera. Right now, I have the sensor set to basically a crop sensor, but the A camera is going to have a 15 to 35, B and C are going to have 24 to 70s, and we're going to probably be at around an F8. It might be an F8, F11 split, but it's a green screen shoot, so you want to have deep depth of field. That monitor in the middle that's going to be a real screen on set is going to get garbage matted out. Uh, and then neg on either side of talent potentially with floppy cutters, which you don't see here in set of light. So there you go. That's a little pre -viz. It's going to help us get to the finish line a lot faster. This was sent to the client for approval, but then sent to the soundstage as well. That way we all have a game plan in terms of what we're going to do. I will be on the road Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday next week. I will be doing episodes of the Daily Drop. There'll probably be one shot here on Sunday for Monday, and then I'd like to do at least one or two from the road. I think that's about it. I do want to thank everybody for their feedback. 
on the episode a couple of days ago on things that you're looking for from the daily drop. Don't forget to, and to, and I'll see you on the next episode of The Daily Drop.